not having anything recorded. And my what? Position. 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 I'm seated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who are you? Ken Kelch, mayor of the city and borough of Juno. Uh, so, Juno's tourism season officially kicked off this week. I do. Yeah, how will cruise boat revenues boost the city, and what are your fiscal hopes for this summer season? Well, let me start how I know that the season kicked off because I shook approximately 3,200 hands as they came off the ship because that's how excited I am about welcoming the tourism season back to Juneau. The tourism season in Juneau means that uh, our streets are filled again, our shops are open and vibrant, our community is employed, and it means a great deal to Juno. And this year, uh, we'll welcome even more tourists than we welcomed last year. And we're working this a huge thumbs up for us. It's a boost to the community. And uh, it is getting to a stage where we now will be working on making sure that the increase in tourism uh, benefits both the community, it does financially, obviously, but in offering areas that we can explore and go to and uh, that the, every tourist that comes off here has a great experience that they have and get to see the general that we love. Great. Okay. Did that sound like a promo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, they're, they're all <clears throat> I would hope that they would come together and uh, work out their differences. It seems to be going slowly now that they've rolled out the operating budget and they've had hearings on the capital budget. And they just need to get together and reconcile their differences and uh, be able to move on and let the municipalities know what we will be uh, seeing as far as laws that will affect us and as far as financing that's extremely important. We're right in the budget process right now. And knowing what our schools are getting and knowing what municipal uh, revenue sharing there is, is key to our budget process. Okay, so Juno's homelessness population continues to grow. What is your strategy moving forward to assist the homeless? Our strategy is to uh, do uh, some work in the mental health field to see if uh, we are adequately addressing that particular aspect of it. We received a uh, report on our uh, homelessness and our, the effectiveness of our warming shelter, and both of those were positive. Forget Me Not Manor opened up, which uh, houses 32 of our most vulnerable homeless. The uh, Mental Health Trust has funded us for three years for a homeless coordinator. Uh, we are making progress, but with that progress, also, that success also comes the attraction, perhaps, of more people in that program, or realizing how many people are in uh, that distress. So that's what we're working on. Hopefully we can um, find some solutions. I don't think you ever have a, a total solution for homelessness. It is one of the things that uh, we have people that we offer housing and cannot get them to accept it. So how to find that particular aspect is the, the real challenge. Uh, the hardest hit sectors, probably education. Uh, the education budget uh, seems to be flat, 
and we find that the municipalities are picking up more of the education budget and requested to pick up more of the education budget. Childhood care uh, for our youngest citizen is a huge issue and that seems to be part of where our budget uh, is failing us on a statewide basis. Public safety needs a boost. We are seeing more and more uh, vandalism and theft and almost to the point where it has become a standard not to uh, expect that we can deal with theft. And that's not right. We, we're going to work on rolling that one back. Yeah, yeah. No, that public safety has to be there. And it has to go back to a little bit of old Alaska. Current status is that it is the EIS has not uh, been rolled out. It's been years in the making. Uh, it was court ordered and we'll see if it goes ahead and satisfies the uh, Ninth Circuit Court which is hard to satisfy and uh, after that the governor has uh, put a no build on it because of the finances and other circumstances but we are still hopeful that uh, we can uh, someday get our fish our other products to market in a, in a manner that uh, enhances the fisher, fisheries here and um, the manufacturing that goes on in Juneau, getting those and bringing in products into Juneau and lowering the cost of that. So both of those are key to our economic survival here and our, our future. Well, there's, there's 530 jobs uh, that they estimate that will be available for the construction. In our construction, uh, you ask about some of the areas that uh, need help. Our construction industries are uh, in need of projects to do. And those are things that uh, would all uh, help with the economy. Losing well over three or 400 jo state jobs out of Juneau past few years uh, would be replaced by uh, construction jobs, which would help tide us over. That Juno is a great place to live. We are dedicated to making it uh, safe, which is we are dedicated to uh, having the best education system possible for our kids. We are working on uh, child care options. We are working on uh, our senior citizens, which is a population and is growing, to make sure that they're taken care of and some of the options for more senior uh, care facilities in Juneau. I would tell our fellow Alaskans that uh, we're on it right now, and uh, hopefully we can continue to be on it. Uh, we have a, a great city staff, and they also share that dedication. We are blessed with so many things that happen here. The tourism industry, uh, the uh, state capital, the fishing industry, our mining, you know, having two mines. Uh, we're much more diverse than we were before and we will continue to build on those strengths and try to add to those strengths. So come, up, come on down to Juno. We have, the State Museum here is phenomenal. If you haven't seen it, you need to. That's true. That's a cool museum, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's almost unbelievable. It's a tree in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. Yeah, it's a tree in the middle of the museum. Yeah, let me add that our arts and uh, community here is thriving and you need to uh, be part of that vibe too. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. You bet. <laughs>